हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इन रेनबो सर्कल सो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल क्लिक द बेल आइकन फॉर न्यू अपडेट्स सो एज आई शो इन द स्लाइड और टॉपिक इज इंटरनल एग्जामिनेशन मेनली द पल्पेशन सो बिफोर वील स्टार्ट द इंटरनल एग्जामिनेशन वी हैव टू टेक द प्रॉपर प्लेस फॉर इंटरनल एग्जामिनेशन एंड वी हैव टू टेक द भरवा कॉन्सेंट फ्रॉम द मदर एंड गिव द सुपाइन पोजिशन टू द मदर एंड मेक द मदर कम्फर्ट एंड मेक द प्रॉपर प्राइवेसी एंड एक्सपोज द एरिया हुई नीड टू डू द पल्पेशन रेदर देन दैट पार्ट नो नीड टू एक्सपोज एनी पार्ट ओके एंड वी हैव टू एनश्योर द मदर हैज एम्प्लीट हर ब्लडर और नॉट बिकॉज इफ ही इज नॉट एम्प्लीट इट विल क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम ड्यूरिंग द पल्पेशन एंड आस्क for any tender area before palpating the abdomen so these are the points preliminary points you have to remember so at first abdominal examination we have to check the three point inspection palpation and auscultation so by step by step we will discuss all these three points in our later class in this video so let's start the inspection so in this inspection first we have to check the Uh, abdominal shape or ab uh, sorry abdominal size in the abdominal size it may be large it may be small so according to the growth of the baby the, or according to the ab amniotic fluid the size may vary and next is we have to check the abdominal shape it may be uh, oval shape it may be cylindrical shape it may be uh, what to say it may be broad shape okay so if uh, the shape will depend the lie of the baby if the lie of the baby is proper means longitudinal lie so at that time the shape will be oval like this picture only okay next is stria gravidarum the stria gravidarum is nothing but it is the sketch mark you can find some uh, mothers in the abdomen it is stria gravidarum and next is linea nigra it is the black jo black color of the abdomen or sometimes deep uh, deep black color, black color you can see in the abdomen it is the uh, linea nigra and sometimes we can say the visible uh, visible fetal movements in the abdomen so this all are the points you have to uh, check or inspect in the abdomen during antenatal examination so those points are come under the ins uh, inspection of the antenatal examination so next we will proceed towards our palpation so in the palpation we will uh, check the sum of the points so first is fundal height so fundal height we have to check by um, using the measuring tape so one side of the measuring tape we have to place in the zephyr uh, sternum just below the zephyr sternum and another part we have to place in the pubic suprapubic region so the length of the this part is known as fundal height so, and next, next is fetal poles so we have to check the fetal poles fetal lie lie may be transverse oblique and longitudinal presentation cephalic maybe it may be cephalic it may be bridge attitude we can check and all other parts mentioned here fetal movements uh, like a volume we have to check one by one okay so without uh, losing time we will directly go to the first point okay first is the uh, abdominal examination first point is uh, measuring the fundal height as i told that fundal height have to measure by uh, with the help of measuring tape one part of the measuring tape we have to place just below the zephyr sternum and another place we have to place in the suprapubic region so the diameter is known as the fundal height okay next in the second point we have to do the palpation of the content of the uterus so it Uh, it mainly contains the four maneuver the maneuver no known as uh, leopold's maneuver the first is fundal grip in the fundal grip we have to place our both hand in the fundus and we have to check the check for the hard muscle and soft muscle if there is hard muscle felt that is hard hard muscle felt it indicate the head of the baby or cephalic position of the baby sorry cephalus of the baby and if there is soft soft triangular muscle felt it indicate the uh, buttex of the baby so it will helps to find out the body parts in the fundal grips head and buttock second is the lateral grip in the lateral grip mainly we will find out the lie of the baby so in the in that uh, grip we have to place one hand in one side of the abdomen and give gentle pressure and by the another hand we have to try to find out the uh, body parts of the baby if the um, regular regular structure felt in that part it will indicate that it will be the spine or back of the baby and if it is felt the irregular structures it will indicate the limbs of the baby so according to the uh, fixation of the hand 
it will help to find out the structure or it will uh, the body parts of the baby it may be the back or it may be the limbs so according if the uh, body parts if the lie is longitudinal means it will uh, normal then only it will felt like this this one side is back and another side we can felt the uh, limbs and if it is transverse lie or oblique lie in that condition you may not find this kind of uh, findings because in in this condition the baby's position will alter so it is the uh, abnormal presentation we are mainly doing the normal palpation so mostly you will find the normal pulp uh, normal position of the baby it may be um, cephalic it may be sometime it may be bridge also okay so this is the lateral grip so next uh, we will uh, proceed to the pauli grip okay so let's start the pauli grip uh, the pauli grip is also known as first pelvic grip so in that we have to place our thumb and middle fingers of the right hand wired apart of the supra pubic area to determine the presenting part the presenting part is nothing but how the baby will come from the mother womb okay or through the mother vagina how the what is the uh, first place it may be head it may be back okay it may be buttock so by the presenting part if you felt that uh, there is hard mass felt in that area it indicate the presenting part is head means cephalus and if there is soft mass felt in that area it indicates the uh, buttocks or bridge of the baby so mainly it will helps to find out the presentation in the pauli grip or first pelvic grip it will helps to find out the presentation of the baby or fetus okay next we will proceed to the deep pelvic grip in the deep pelvic grip we have to uh, know the attitude of the fetus so what is the attitude the attitude is nothing but attitude is the prominence of the baby okay it may be in in this uh, as show in the picture we have to place the two hand in the two side of the abdomen and we have to uh, take the two hands downwards of the baby uh, downwards to the abdomen okay so if right hand fell suppose if right hand felt first prominence or hard structure in the right side okay sorry if right hand felt the prominence in the left side of the mother it will indicate that uh, thus um, baby's head will flexed well if the back is in the left side of the mother okay i again want to uh, tell this line that if the baby's head is felt in the right side of the examiner okay and by the right hand by the examiner and if the baby's back is in the right left side of the abdomen of the mother at that time we can suggest that baby's head is well flexed okay and if we uh, suppose if the baby's back is in the left side of the mother and by the left hand if i felt or if examiner felt the prominence or hard portion of the head uh, first then it will indicate that baby's head is not well flexed it may be uh, it may be extend or it may be deep flexed okay so according to this we can easily find the baby's uh, flexion baby's head flexion or not proper properly flexion occur or not okay this, this is the deep pelvic grip next is the fourth one is uh, engagement of the fetal head in that grip only you can find the engagement so in the engagement we just join our two hand in the supra pubic area as, as i shown in the picture previous picture so if there is <coughs> if there is both hands meet together that it showed that baby will engaged and if there is no uh, hand are not meet together that indicates that baby will not engaged next is will auscultation so in the auscultation we just place our uh, stethoscope in the uh, back of the baby and we will count the heart rate the heart normal heart rate is 110 to 160 beats per minute so this is all about the under examination if you find difficulty please message in my inbox and do like to share and subscribe my channel and support me continuously thank you